Moving average convergence divergence. It is one of the most underrated indicator in the market. And in this video, I will teach you how you can use MACD indicator in the best way you can at your trading setups. So before we lose any time, let's jump in the video. MACD is one of the most famous indicator in the market. I know that. But the problem with the MACD is just the MACD itself lot of time can give a false signals and uh, repetitive signals like it's crossing down and after one minute it's crossing up so it can be a very tight signals if you just use MACD alone so in this video bear with me because I will show you how you can improve your MACD indicator with just one super powerful indicator and the best thing is you can find this indicator in all brokers all platforms so let's dive in and now we have MACD in my screen as you can see here that I have already added and attached it to my char chart so now I am on five minutes and you can see that here we are taking buy and sell signals why because if it is crossing up we will buy and if it is crossing down we will short it so in this scenario we can see that there are a lot of signals and it's so much complicated and you can lose a lot of money because we don't know that if it is a true signal or wrong signal before the time passes but here we got a nice cross down which means that it's a short signal and here again we got cross up which means that it's a good buy signal. So the question is how we can improve. And my MACD settings are very simple. It's all default settings. You can see it by yourself. The first length is 12 and the small length is 26. So my super indicator is you will be shocked because it's so easy. It's moving average. I love moving average and it's so powerful and we will use moving average exponential so click to add your chart and go to settings and change length to 100 because we will use 100 bar to calculate our buy and sell signals and i will make the thickness harder because it's better for me to see so Strategy is very easy. I will keep this video sweet and short and you will get a lot of information and ready to take action. So if the price above the 100 EMA line, it means that it's bullish. And if the price goes below the 100 EMA line, it means that it's bearish. So we can short it or sell it, whatever you want to do. How we can combine with the MACD is answer very easy. So if we got in the normal scenario, cross up like this, we are long, right? But we will wait until the price closes the bar above the 100 EMA line. It's very important. Please wait for the close. It can be a false signal. It can be a trap. So don't dive into trap. Be patient and wait for the opportunity come to you. Don't chase the opportunity. Market will give you the opportunity. Don't worry. So trust my experience. So if we see the cross up above the 100 EMA line and if we see the MACD crossing up like this in this scenario, we are entering long position. And I hear the question that what is the stop loss what is the take profit and i will explain now the take profit for my opinion you can take your profit you can trim your position when make the crosses down like this so if you see a cross down and if you see that it's you know showing some bearish activity just close out your position and sit back relax because you are in green and for the stop loss if the price touches the 100 EMA line we are out of the position no question because we are using EMA line as a main uh, indicator in this scenario not the MACD because 
the EMA lines are so powerful and it's all based on price actions. So it calculates the 100 bar before the current bar. So it's, yeah, right? It's the name itself, moving average. So we are following the moving average. So if the price touches the 100 EMA line again, we stopped out. So let's zoom in and we see that it didn't touch the 100 EMA line. So no problem. And you can put your stop loss just under the EMA line because in any case, you know, you can give yourself some tolerance to stop out because sometimes the price can aggressively move. I don't know, maybe because of the news or something like that. You can just move your stop just a little like you see it on my screen. So for the take profit, I said you can close out your position when the MACD crosses down like this in my screen. For, so for the time frame, it's a very common question. I know which time frame you should use. You can use this indicator setup from five minutes to up until one day. So if you're a day trader, you can use five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So why we are not one minute? Because uh, in one minute, it's changed so fast that you cannot, you know, follow up the indicators. It's just moving up, moving down, it's so fast. But the five minutes is sweet spot. So if you go to two hour, you can use it. If you go to four hour, you can use it. And another question is, you can use it in crypto, you can use it in Forex because it's based on the price action and price movements. So that's why you can use this indicator in all setups. And try it yourself because some of stocks or like, I don't know, the gold or silver or some penny stocks cannot work perfectly with this setup. But for my experience, Apple, Bitcoin are working perfectly with this indicators setup. So we have EMA 100 and we have MACD and ready to go. You don't need anything else. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button because I am shooting very nice videos to help you to improve your trading career. So bear with me and don't forget to hit the like button because it motivates me a lot. And until the next time, see you soon.